Yo, hello, hello traders. It's your one and only Forest Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you all here today on this one. All right, if this is your first time on my channel, could you do me a little favor? Smash the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I release a new content. Because right here in this channel, all I do is to post content that help you win in the financial market, okay? Now, in this video today, I'll be showing you exactly how you can trade and catch spikes in the boom and crash markets all right using a very simple strategy that i use okay now normally i trade using the support and resistance strategy which a whole lot of you already know and i'm glad about a lot of people who have been making quite some good profits since they started using the support and resistance because you know a lot of people uh didn't believe in support and resistance people believe in the almighty formula smart money concept this that blah blah but but the neglects this support and resistance and not knowing that support and resistance is one of the primary and roots of the movement of the market market moves in waves when it goes to the upside it surely comes down all right when it comes from the upside it hits a resistance and from the downside it hits a support and that's what a lot of traders need to understand that this support and resistance strategy is a very powerful strategy now topping it together with now topping it together with the rsi strategy which i always use also okay now before we proceed i want you guys to go straight and join my second youtube channel which is bullish bear fx b2p in that channel all i want to be teaching you guys there is purely price action okay price action so i'll be using this channel right now for my indicator strategies to teach you guys how to use various indicators to create strategies that work for you and then in the other channel i'll be teaching you guys purely price action which a whole lot of you ought to be part of it i want you all to learn how to be pure price action traders then indicator should just be a uh an added confirmation for you guys okay so make sure you join bullish bear fx b2p the link is on the description of this video right now and you can see it on the screen so just search for it and make sure you subscribe and turn the bell on okay because i'll be releasing the very first video today which is how to create your zones in the markets in that channel i'll be creating that video and posting it there today for you guys so make sure you're part of it okay so let's proceed guys now if you get observed you notice that i'm on a trade here and currently all are in profits okay and you would also notice that this is a sniper entry i took it exactly at my support though price still went a little lower before the spike finally began and that is why i always tell you guys that you always want to make sure that whenever you tr you place your trade your stop loss should be somewhere deep below okay so you can be safe in it now what i would do now is to lock profits okay i'll just have to lock profit give me a second guys okay welcome back guys so i have just locked my profit so even if it decides to go and hits it no problem I've, I've made profit all the way from here to here okay but i just have this belief that this is where it's still going to come over to okay now how did i take this trade i always love to show you guys how i took the trade because it's not just about teaching you the strategy it's about teaching you also how to take your entry so that you can learn to be independent traders okay so this is my support which you can see and what i use in taking this trade is actually the 15 minute time frame you know a lot of you will be like tim uh, you posted one hour time frame you posted four hour time frame how do we trade it we have small accounts this and that all right so i decided to take this on a 15 minute time frame and which i'm going to show you guys exactly how i did it now the first thing you want to do is before you take your entry on the 15 minute time frame you want to make sure that from the one hour time frame you have already uh made your analysis okay your support and resistance analysis which you see here already i have this as my resistant line all right and uh, i'll be showing you guys how to create a very good support and resistance how to mark out the uh, uh strong support and resistance zones in my price action tr training which i'm going to post in the other channel that is why i said you guys should make sure you join there because that's where i'll be dealing with pure price action okay so search for bullish bear fx b2p and subscribe and turn the bell on okay so 
I marked out my support here. I marked out my resistance here. And this is where I'm looking forward to taking profit. So what did I, what happened when I saw price coming, gradually coming, all right, I placed my sell instantly at that zone and having my stop loss right below. My stop loss was below here, okay? My stop loss was already, was at this zone here. Because if you had put it here, it's still not safe because if you put it here, price could still come a bit lower here, which is not safe. So I, you had, you, you, I had to put it all below the boat, uh, the, the boat uh, support zones we have in the past already. Okay. Because on the norms, if you put your support here or your stop loss around here, you should know that here was a first touch in the past. And there's every tendency that price could actually come back to touch here again. So if your stop loss is anywhere here, it's really not safe. So this is the best place to put your stop loss right below. And that was where I put my stop loss. So this is me observing from the one hour time frame. Okay. And then from the 15 minute time frame, when price finally came to that support, that was when I placed that trade here. And which we all can see currently that it's been a, a wonderful move all the way, all the way all the way all right and my anticipation is that it's going to get here but what was my second confluence of taking a trade not just looking at support because not all the time it holds and even if you notice you would get to see that price when it came here it still broke below my support a little bit before the spike finally began and if care wasn't taken it would have broke below and even kept going before it gets here and begin so you should know that looking at the support alone is not enough okay it's not enough and that is why you want to make sure you join the other channel where I'll teach you guys price action so that you can learn many other price action confluences that you want to always hold on to, look on to before you play certain trades, okay? So having this as my first confluence, which is my support, my next confluence was actually my indicator, which we all can see clearly that this is what my oversold. And that was where I placed my trade all right remember what i told you guys about the rules of this strategy you always want to make sure that before you place a buy or a sell if you're selling if you're buying from your support you want to make sure that your support aligns together with your uh oversold on your indicator what do i mean if you see your indicator maybe somewhere around here okay somewhere around here and your uh the main price has gotten to support is still not enough for you to place a trade it's not a good confluence because this guy hasn't aligned but when and also vice versa if you get to see this guy at oversold and this guy hasn't gotten to your support it's still not okay for you to place that trade but when you get to see that your the price has gotten to support and in your indicator has also gotten to oversold you have two confluences remember i always tell you guys your confluence is your words confidence to take a trade all right so you want to make sure that whenever you see this guy at oversold and this guy at your support you have two good confluence to place that trade all right two good confluence to place that trade therefore confidently place your buy and once you place your buy you see it going for you as long as price is willing to go in your favor, right? That's funny, huh? But that's what it is, guys. So you want to make sure you remove fear from your mind when taking trades. Place your trade, set your stop loss, and let what will happen happen. That's just one thing you need to understand, okay? Place your trade, set your stop loss, and let what will happen happen. Traders, let me know if you have anything, any question concerning this strategy, anything you're finding difficult always feel free to leave it on the comment section because i will use your comment to know what i should create next for you guys okay uh please if you know you love this video support me with your like on this video right now let me see that like on this video when you smash the like button it, it it makes me understand that you guys are loving it and you want more of it and therefore i'll keep creating more contents for you guys so that you can keep learning and keep trading and keep words winning all right so now what's the indicator settings for this your rsi you want to make sure that your period is on 14 and then you want to make sure you apply to close your level should be 10 12 14 15 90 86 and 88 then you want to put any style or color you desire any color you desire at all okay and then after that you want to have your force index 
the force index make sure to be the period should be 13 period uh, method to be simple volume is thick and pull whatever color you desire and then you click on done okay yeah so let me know what you think about the strategy let me know your questions let me know whatever you find difficult that you want to learn and i will see you on the next video for the meantime traders stay safe and keep winning